and welcome back to the channel on this video we're gonna ride the aerial rider grizzly and I'm gonna hop on and tell you what today's video is going to be about but it's to do with the aerial rider grizzly so let's head out for a little ride here so today I want to talk about dual motor e-bikes and the reason why I want to talk about dual motor e-bikes is because recently on a video I did riding with a friend Keith he rode the this very bike and I rode the Lyric Graffiti and we went it was his first time riding an e-bike he's a motorcycle street bike uh, guy and uh, has ridden uh, traditional bikes he has a traditional bike as well but first time riding an e-bike and he, he rode this one and he had an accident where he wiped out and if you haven't caught that video I will leave a link in the description so you can go check it out and you'll see where he wipes out I don't get a full view of the wipeout but you'll you'll get the idea you'll you'll see it and uh, he scraped his uh, arms up pretty good but he's uh, okay so if anybody's wondering how he's doing Keith is doing fine and he's going to be in the not too distant future here back on the uh, channel for some more videos so we're looking forward to that but in the meantime the reason why I want to talk about it's because of his wipeout and first of all why I think it happened and maybe what we can do to not have that happen again for for himself or anybody else and what I uh, so what I think happened first of all is I think that he was making the turn he was turning right uh, from one street to another and he had both motors engaged on the bike and I think what happened was when he took the turn he was taking the turn I think he started to throttle before he got completely around onto the other street and I think what happened was he hit that accelerator the throttle here and with both motors going that motor spun out in the front and caused him to fall and um, if you're familiar with the aerial rider grizzly it has dual motors of course and it has some pretty good torque particularly on the takeoff in the front and what happens is as I'm going to demonstrate here as you can hear it just wants to spin and so the reason for that is that there's no weight in the front right as where you're sitting in the back the bike isn't gonna if I got up from the back and uh, did that it would do the same on the back but with the weight of the rider that keeps it from uh, um, or gives it traction whereas the front doesn't have traction on takeoff so the uh, basically you don't want to be throttling especially with the front motor engaged you don't want to be throttling uh, taking a turn and if you're taking a sharp turn like going from street to street I suggest you probably don't even use the throttle at all till you get back straight you know again with the uh, the road you're turning onto because that that could be a dangerous situation but anyway uh, so that's what I think happened and so What I want to talk about here is a little bit more about it and if you've never ridden an e-bike or you have never ridden the aerial rider grizzly or any dual motor e-bikes kind of get used to the bike before you start uh, just maybe uh, play around with the front motor a little bit dual because uh, if you're not used to it boy that'll that can sure uh, be dangerous so we don't want anybody getting hurt 
And I don't think it just applies to the Aerial Rider Grizzly. I think it's going to apply to any any bike that has a dual motor because the let's face it the front end if they're dual hub motors the front end is obviously going to be a lot lighter than the uh, back end uh, especially because you're sitting on the back and uh, so you want to be careful not to have yourself uh, go down so for me personally when I'm riding I, uh, on this bike, I only use the rear motor, and the only time I use the both, and I've said this many times on many videos, is if I want to, once I start going, if I want to accelerate quickly, be it through an intersection or whatever the situation is, then I'll put both motors on because I want to get a quick acceleration. The bike isn't going to really go any faster. Uh, once it gets up to speed because both motors are rotating let's both wheels are rotating at the same speed right so you're not going to get any faster of a speed but you're going to get up to speed quicker because both motors are working to get you up to that speed that much you know twice working in tandem so so i suggest uh, first of all i wouldn't even use both motors unless you're already going and you won't, aren't going to spin out that way and then also if you're uh if the situation calls for it i there's a lot of guys out there that just ride all the time with dual motor uh, engaged and i don't really honestly see the point in doing that uh myself so um i don't do it but the other one is the the really good reason to have dual motors in my opinion is for hill climbing because you can feel when you're going up a hill even with this bike with the good rear 1000 watt motor if you're going up a hill a pretty good hill steep hill or a long hill you can hear and tell when you're riding that the bike is having trouble it's starting to sag and instead of making the motor work that much harder to get you up the hill i just put on the second motor like right here and uh, it just pulls you up the hill. But really, I don't think there's any really a reason to run both motors, but I know there's some people that swear by it and they'll just run uh, the two motors all the time, but you gotta be careful, like I say, for doing uh, like uh, from a start, because it will throw you if you're, if you're not ready for it. And especially, like I say, for a new rider, that's never ridden one before. I mean, even myself, and I have experience riding this now, I've had it for um, uh, approximately 14, 15 months now. I know how this bike operates, and so I have a pretty good feel for it. But if somebody's new on there, um, you know, it's gonna catch you by surprise if you um, have both on and, you know, aren't ready for it. The other thing is, I have had this happen too, where occasionally I have forgotten that the motor, I've had that motor, uh, both motors on, come to a stop and then went to accelerate and then uh, realized, hey, once it started spinning, that I, have, that I have two motors going, so. But I've done it, you know, uh, not thinking uh, to shut it off, but otherwise, I, uh, I normally don't run it like I say with both motors but just a heads up for anybody out there that's riding a dual motor bike especially for the first time uh, be careful with it because it can be dangerous if you're not ready for it and um, I always suggest riding with the uh, rear motor um, to, especially at a start like this and then hitting the switch like right here then you don't have to worry about a spin out because you're already uh, going, you know, so. We don't want to see anybody getting hurt. Um, you know, we're all on the bikes to have fun. Have a good time, you know, but have fun. And ride responsibly and, and I think then we won't have any issues but you know accidents do happen and that's how we learn 
uh, from our mistakes. So, so if you've had any issues with dual motor, any situations where you wiped out or or any kind of situation yourself or know of anybody that has, let us know in the comments. It'd be kind of interesting to see what other people uh, have had uh, any situations. So I just wanted to bring that up and talk a little bit about it because that just happened recently and I don't want anybody else having the same thing happen. So like I say, I don't think it just applies to the, uh, the Grizzly. I mean, there's other bikes out there that are dual motor that I'm sure have the same situation uh, that can happen. I'm going to make a turn here once this truck goes by. I'm going to quickly get across here. So yeah, leave a comment if you have an opinion on this video or any experiences that you've had. Share them with us here in the comments below. So that's going to do it for this video here on the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for subscribing. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.